Boo! We've been putting in overtime for Zelda Breath of the Tears of the Kingdom. And honestly, this video is going to be a pretty good one that's going to help a lot of people out who like to use building and zonai materials. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting the maximum amount of battery we can get. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that, and then we're going to double it. First things first, if you did the tutorial island, which you damn well should have, you would have gotten all four shrines here at the last shrine, the fourth shrine that he makes you do so you can open the Temple of Time door. Uh, there's actually another NPC right beside there. So you'll be able to access this right from the beginning of the game and just do it progressively as you get the items required. But once you come to the fourth shrine, which is right here, uh, you'll be able to come to this person right over here. This is a steward construct. So let's just have a little talky talk here. This is a crystal refinery. Now this is a special crystal refinery because you can take your crystallized charges and use them to produce energy wells. So all you're gonna do is just say, get producing. He's gonna take the maximum number that you can take. He's actually gonna take 2100 from me and that's for 21 energy cells. All right, let's get producing. So 2100 of these, I actually only have 2179. So that's kind of an interesting number. And then he goes and he does that. So, 2100 of those is a lot, guys, that is a lot. And I've already, already had massive amount of battery going in in the first place. Alright, so there he is, he's, he's done it, he's giving me 21 energy wells, on top of whatever I had, I assume, which is kind of crazy, so, yeah, alright. Uh, that is, okay, that's all we have, so you can actually double over and they become blue. So that's pretty nuts, that's just crazy. Uh, that is not capped yet, guys. That ain't capped yet. <laughs> so the sad part about all of this is the crystallized charges here that we have are actually key items. They're only key items, which means they cannot be whipped out and dupey duped just like we've been doing for the last couple of videos. Sadly, that is not the case. However, you will be able to buy them using some of these Zonai materials which we can collect and which we can dupe. And that's going to be the Zonite and the Large Zonite, all right? You're going to be able to get your hands on loads of these as you play through the game, but all you need is one to start duplicating, so just do keep that in mind. So down in the depths, if you guys have done much of this, you'll be able to see that there's loads of different mines around here with forge constructs around the place. And you'll want to come to all of these, empty them out, because they'll only get restocked during a blood moon. So there's loads of forge constructs here. They're all gonna have options that you'll be able to buy the large crystallized shards, which are worth 20 per one, and then the normal ones, which are only exchanged for these small zonite pieces. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, let's go ahead and ask for these. We're gonna take them all, and it's gonna cost me 90 zonite pieces. It's a deal for 30 of those. It's not a lot because you're going to need 100 for one upgrade. But let's try the large ones. The large ones are going to get me... Now that's going to get me 100. There we go. So the large ones will get me 100. And uh, let's go on to the next area. So these will not be restocked until a blood moon happens. Now I did mention you're going to be able to get them all by just duping these items. But if you want to really save as much time as possible doing this, you can optionally stick to large zonite because it's far fewer dupes for large zonite for a far bigger gain. If you take all of these, it's going to cost you only 15 large zonite and it's going to get you a uh, hundred of the crystallized charges, as you can see happening there. Whereas, if you're doing the small ones, uh, you'll be able to see me option do this here. It's going to cost you 90 zonite pieces, and it's just going to give you uh, 30, is it? 30, yeah. So, uh, you can see the time distortion, the time difference there. Uh, so, it's up to you how you want to do it. If you don't know about the duping glitch, there's a very easy one right there. I will leave that linked in the first line of the description for everyone who's completely brand new to this, so you can see how it's done. Anyone who's not familiar with glitches, you're not going to have any issues with this. Trust me, it's so easy, it's ridiculous, it's so fast as well. So let's get back to it. So one round of the depths should get you about 1,230 or 40 ish, okay? So that's kind of what you're looking at for one round of the all of the depths mines. That's a lot of crystallized charges. And what it really cost me was uh, just less than 100, was it about 100 uh, large zonite pieces and almost all of my regular zonites. So yeah, it's much more efficient to do the large zonites if you're doing the duping method to get enough of these. Heading back to the sky island where we're going to finish off our battery here. Let's just see how many he takes here just so we can finish off the blue bar. 
And this is, the blue bar is basically, it's the second bar in a row. As you can see here, the green, most of you guys are gonna have green, but if you've gone past green, you're gonna be in the blue. Let's get producing and see what he takes here. It's 12 more, it's, it's 1,200, he's taking them all. Oh my God, we're just short of finishing the blue bar. You can't be serious. <laughs> All right, we're back here for the finale of the blue bar. Let's talk to him here, get producing and see how many he takes. It's gonna take one energy well. That's all he can take. The last blue bar is indeed the max. So essentially, if anyone's only just used to the green bars, we've already doubled our battery by getting the blue bar on top of it. But that's not the doubling I meant when I said it at the beginning of the video. We're gonna double it again. And that's pretty much quadding our battery right now. So <laughs> let's go ahead and do that. Finishing the blue by itself is extraordinary. That's huge. Uh, is a lot of battery anyway. This is the maximum extent possible. It will not support any more energy wells. You may still find yourself with surplus crystallized charges, but that's fine. I will instead accept crystallized charges for your choice of Zonai device. Sadly, we already have 999 of everything because we have also a dupe for these as well. Very easy to pull off. So you'll be able to get 999 Zonai devices by checking out a video I'll leave in the window at the end of this. So let's go ahead and double our battery yet again. So in order to double the battery on top of what we've already got, you're gonna wanna get your hands on the Zonai gear, the Zonai helmet, the Zonai waist guard, and the Zonai shin guards. You do not have to upgrade it like I have them upgraded here to four star. You just need to get the base set that is going to double the battery you have, whatever level battery you have. So just wearing this set, all of it is going to double everything. It's just going to make our battery last quite literally forever. So for the waste guard piece of this armor set, going east from Great Sky Island, you're going to find this island right over here, a very intriguing one. And you're going to find a shrine inside. And you might be wondering when you first get here, what's the point of this island? You may very well have missed the armor piece that's in here. So I'm going to show you exactly where to go to get this. Once you've teleported to the shrine inside this island, you will be able to turn right around, go behind the shrine. And the reason this is very easy to miss is because you can't see it and you're not immediately in a position to try going at it either. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to freeze this piece of lava and then you're gonna have to rise up right into this little spot here inside the pillar. That is going to produce for you a chest, which is obviously not here for me anymore because I've gotten it already. And it's gonna have the waist guard piece for this armor. Very easy to miss. And as you can see, you can barely see in or out as well. For the Zonai Shin Guards, you're gonna to wanna to find this area on your map in the far east. This is very distinguishable. It's just so, stands out so much. The Wrist Peninsula, the Spiral. Right above that, you're gonna find a couple of islands right here in the Sky Islands. There's a shrine here, so you do have fairly easy access. And there's a massive orb in the sky Sky to the southwest of that. It's all the way up there. And if you enter there, you're going to be able to find yourself the leg pieces. The headpiece is on Lightcast Island, and you're going to require a couple of those Zonai mirrors to do some puzzles here with the lighting, in which you'll be able to go all the way down to the bottom of a dark, dark pit and get a chest once you do it. This island is located right above Nero Hill in the far west of the map, south of Rio Village. So directly above that, you'll be able to make your way to this island and in here and then play around with some of the light puzzles. So congratulations everyone, you now have maxed out the battery you have in the game. You've got the double layered blue energy cells as well as double that with the armor set on. So what kind of battery is that? What are we looking at here? Well, let's get on this plane here and go for a little fly and you'll be able to have an idea of what we're doing now. This is three fans and a control stick, guys. This is what you're looking at. You can use this in green and you'll probably see uh, it go just down really, really, really fast. But we have a very good control of this airplane right now. We have a lot of battery. Dude. It's lasting quite a long time for this kind of device. Three fans is quite consuming. The fewer devices you use, the less battery you use, obviously makes sense. So fortunately, we do have enough battery to just fly off into the sunrise, which is wonderful. We get to see all these beautiful vistas. We get to go anywhere we want. And actually, we're not even halfway through our battery. We're about halfway now and we're nearly halfway now and our device isn't even lasting that long. That just shows you how much battery you have. These devices do expire eventually. And it's so sad, it only lasted half my battery. It only lasted half my battery. 
That's crazy. Well, that's all the battery you got in the game. Enjoy it. It is absolutely overkill. You do not need the blue battery at all. But if you just want to be a completionist and just have an obscene amount of power just to throw off nukes here and there or what, for whatever reasons you might want, there you go. <laughs> now you can do it. And crazy power. Enjoy it. I'll see you guys around the next video. Have a good one. Bye.